Rescuers are searching for signs of life in the rubble Monday, a day after two fierce back-to-back -back tornadoes touched down in Alabama. At least 23 people were killed, and officials say the death toll is expected to rise. My understanding is that uh, the youngest victim was age six, uh, and, and of course adults uh, uh, ranging in age from six all the way up through uh, adult age. The storms inflicted their worst damage on Lee County. Video from the small community of Beauregard shows homes reduced to ruin. A lot of uh, mobile homes, uh, manufacturer type housing, uh, those were uh, affected the most dramatically from the uh, effects of the storm. Uh, I, would, I would describe the damage that, that we have seen in the area as catastrophic. Uh, there are, are simply in some locations, the, the, the complete residences are, are gone. Uh, the debris field stretches for, for hundreds and hundreds of yards. Emergency workers say it's debris like this that's making rescue efforts all the more difficult. We're, of course, going to have people on the ground in the actual search areas. We're also going to utilize some, of, some uh, drones uh, that have the infrared capabilities that locate heat signatures. To make matters worse for residents affected by the storm, temperatures in the state fell to 36 degrees on Monday, leaving many struggling with lost power and heat.